Hey guys, uh, so we got the new American Adventure Lab first table. Um, we'll be doing a install video onto the tailgate. There it is, right there. Um, this came in pretty good uh, condition. Everything's wrapped real nice. It had a lot of packing, uh, packaging, um, bubble wrap in there. So it was wrapped pretty good. It was in actually in that larger box and then wrapped. And then it was wrapped in here too, so packaging in here came really nice. The color looked pretty good. Uh, it's like more of like a flat color, um, but looks pretty good. Got the light bar there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually wire this thing. I was reading the instructions and it gives you the options to wire it however you want. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and wire it through here, the wiring harness, to bring it down in here. Try to come across here into the 12 volt. Um, so this should give me power to power the light on, um, while the car is off. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. It's going to be a cool install and, uh, hopefully, you know, it's not too hard. It looks pretty easy compared to what I've already read in the instructions. All right, guys, stay tuned. <clears throat> All right, guys. So went ahead and wrapped the side where the wire is at. Um, I wanted to make sure this wire, you know, is long enough to where I can reach to the the 12 volt up here. So, um, we're having to come out down through here, to the back of the panel, into this wire harness, this wire covering, back into the back of this panel here, and underneath the floorboard here. Um, so I've measured kind of roughly, you know, that's three and a half. That's another foot. That's another foot. So that's five and a half feet. We got about, I think, six and a half feet of this. Um, so yeah, we should be good. Um, it's ready cut here for me, so it'd be real easy to uh, get into. Cut the wire here and then splice into that. Um, okay, well, let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and untape this get that out and what I'll use is some trim tools I've got my trim tool here um, to take this off take that out take this off uh, we'll probably end up taking this off here this panel off just to get it get the wire fed in through here um, and you'll probably take this this out just to give us more room um, and then there's another trim panel here that holds the bolts, you know, if you're unbolting the top top of your Jeep or something like that, take that out, which is pretty simple. And I'll take out this panel here just to get to the wire. So, um, real easy, probably just pop off this little seatbelt panel and you kind of wiggle your way off, off there slowly, uh, without trying to break anything. But that's what I'll do. Um, excuse me for me. The wire up there um so yeah we'll check back with you guys in a bit and i'll show you kind of what it looks like with with uh with this off and kind of see where we're at from there all right so we've taken off the trim panel for the the back tailgate there it is real easy all it is was stuck the uh the trim tool which was my little uh Stuck it in there, put a little push on, pull on that. Stuck my finger in there and popped. This one was the first one that came out. Popped that off, and then I grabbed the trim tool in here, gave it a little opening there, put my finger in there, and just at the same time from the bottom and the top pulled, and this whole thing just went, just came out real easy, real, real nice and easy. Um, so did that. Um, <clears throat> so getting to these instructions, um, so at step one, you know, they want you to install um, the hardware to mount up the, uh, the tailgate. So um, you see there, there's two uh, number eight grommet nuts, and that will go here and here, kind of where it was angled at, that trim piece was angled. So we will put the grommet nuts here, and then they got two brackets. Um, and this looks like a new new thing because there was a video I watched <clears throat> and they were installing 
more of those grommet nuts. But now they've got these brackets, um, which are real nice. Um, there's the short one and they've got a long one. So here's a long one. You can see that um, they've got some uh, nut certs in here. Um, so you put this bracket up here and this one goes, you know, you line up the this hole with that opening there and then this hole here with this opening here. So you can line those up there and that fits pretty well. Um, so that's real easy, real easy to, to put on. However, the second one, well here in the notes it says if you run an OEM tire carrier with OEM bolts, you may run into a fitment issue where the tire carrier bolt protrudes through the inside of the tailgate in one of the mounting locations. If you experience this issue, remove the tire carrier bolt, replace it with the supplied cut down OEM bolt, and then see the picture below, and then obviously um, there's nothing there but it's over here to the, the end. And so this is a short bracket, and right there they circled where that bolt's protruding. And sure enough, you know, when I line mine up... <clears throat> oh. Let me put that there. Line up there. You can see, see that bolt protruding right there. Yeah, that's the one they're talking about. Now there's two things I can do. I can do what the instructions kind of advise. Um, they look like there might be enough thread to actually get a nut on there. Um, just because mine's a aftermarket tire carrier, the bolt would actually came in out a little further. If I go shorter, or if I totally delete that bolt, you know, I don't know how much shorter I can go because, well, for one thing, I need to know, you know, how much thread needs to actually connect there. But I'm thinking of having a bolt there on that side, bolt, and then trying to snug it up with a nut there might be better. Not too sure yet. So, anyways, I wanted to show you kind of that um, and kind of what the what they're requiring there. And um, so, I might take a run run to the uh, hardware store to go get a, a nut. It looks like it's a it would probably be an M8 by 16 millimeter, like they're they're calling out here just because you know it's already threaded so that's the kind of nut well I'd have to match the nut to that bolt size um, so I might try that just to give it a shot I actually did right now is I ended up getting a nut too and it fits snug on there so um, it's pretty good I probably got three or four rotations on that which is all I really need um, now it isn't, it doesn't have a lock washer on there or anything, but for what it is, I mean, I think it's going to stay on there, especially once I snug this down a little more, give it another quarter turn here and then tighten these. I mean, I think that's going to stay on pretty well. So I'm going to go, I'm going to opt out with a nut. So lucky me, didn't have to change out the bolt back there. Um, and uh, here you can see it right there. So it looks pretty good. I'm not too, uh, I think it's fine. Not too worried about it. So there you go. We'll keep continuing. I already got those, uh, those nuts on there. So um, yeah, let me keep continuing with the instructions. And I think in the instructions they were talking about putting like some kind of Loctite on here, like a medium old Loctite, I think. And uh let's see. Um let me see here. If you're having issues, quick latch remove. Oh, here it is. We strongly recommend using medium strength thread locker on all hardware. All right guys, uh, so trim panels off, pull it off the side. First what I did was I, um, oh shit, let me get the light over here, but um, ended up pulling off the seatbelt tab there, seatbelt panel, let me see if I can adjust the light here. 
but uh, took like a screwdriver um, and pried up to the front and it pops off these two clips here. There's two clips on the bottom, pops these off, pull that right out. Just grab it from the ends here, pull it out this way, top and bottom, and then grab it again, again here in the middle, pull out this way. And there's uh, you know some middle tabs there. And then there was one tab on the bottom right here. Couldn't get this one out until I actually took out the trim here where they hold the bolts for the uh, top. And, um, and then I took out the uh, other panel here for the holds the cargo um, cover here. So pretty, not too, not too bad, it's really easy. Was able to get access to um, this area for the wiring. There we go, that's better. So this is all, all bunched up here and I don't think I was wanted to, you know, mess with the integrity of this uh, line here. And what I was gonna do is just feed that wire down in here. Um, maybe do a zip tie here. Well, actually, no, just kinda just bring it down here. And what I wanna do is just maybe cut a little hole here, small little hole. Feed the wire through that, then pop a little hole out of this end here. Come straight down here and here, and then I'm gonna come across. Uh, let's see here. Should I come across here? I could come across right down here and just kind of tape it. Um, hmm. What's under here? Yeah, I'll probably just come across here. The bottom here, the bottom line underneath this, and right underneath this panel. And I put this panel out too, um, and then tie it into the, the 12 volt right there. I uh, already popped off that one. See, they just got these little tabs here. Pop it from the front, just pop it from the front. Comes right off, you pull it out, grab it from the ends here. And you pretty much just pull it from this side. If I, I see they can come out right here on the bottom too, pull it this way. Uh, I'll get more leverage on that because I've got so much stuff right here. But pop that out and then uh, I'll pop this out. Same way, I might have to take this one out too just to get, yeah, it's kind of like latched in there too with that. Just get access to that, so. Uh, yeah, that's, so that should be the wiring. And I'll, uh, I'll show more detail up right now. Just I'm gonna get the table up right now. It is right there. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys. So as I was putting on the table, um, there's some brackets right here. I mean, some electrical harnesses um, where the connectors are at, and they're attached um, right here. This here's one of the, the attachments, but I pulled it off. Um, so what I did is I. I pulled off this one, popped that one off, just like this. One of these, just popped it off, routed it behind here, and uh, I put I connected all the wire behind here because this this thing sticks in there, and so it's like pinching against here. It won't it won't close because of this corner here, and since that's just recessed in, um, trying to get it as flat as possible so when it goes in there, it's got room. So I had to do that, so hopefully that works. Try that out. All right, I'll put that back up and we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, guys, <clears throat> so got the table up on there, mounted. Um, what I did first was I, I put it up there, went ahead and put these two screws in first. Um, and then after I got those in, there's about Let's see here, one, two, three, four. I thought there was a fifth one here. Nope, there's about four of them. Uh, those ones down there. And then there's two over here, one, two. <clears throat> These were a little bit tricky, just because they're they're longer, they're thinner. And then the Allen wrench that I used, you know, was freaking small as hell, so that's, the size I was using, so it took me forever to actually torque those down. Um, it's weird because, uh, you know, 
I thought everything would kind of be flush, but there's actually kind of a gap here. Um, you can kind of see it. And you can, I don't know if you see, but you can see like the, if I can zoom in there. There's like a nut, you know, in the, in the bolt for, for this piece in here that kind of keeps it from sitting flush. But, you know, originally when I had it up there, it was coming out even further. Um, oops, sorry. It was coming out further. So as I torqued this down, this kind of, kind of closed in a little bit more. So did this. So I closed that down. I had all these other bolts in there. I would, they weren't tightened, but I, I closed these down. Then I went back and I tightened the, the, these screws here, the original ones that I put in. <clears throat> Once I did that, I got the, uh, the ball latch here, I screw that in. That was pretty difficult for me too, just because when I screw in it in, there's paint got up in the, in the threads um, from the tailgate. <coughs> and um, so what I, I did is I screwed it high and tightened as much as I could. I took the, the jam nut, you know, out here, um, but then I had to actually rig up some something just to kind of grab it or grip it. So what I did is put electrical tape all over this and just to make sure I didn't like damage any threads I just grabbed it here at the end and I didn't I wasn't trying to touch the ball or anything but just kind of at the end of these threads here clamped down it and then just turned it as much as I could until I got to about <clears throat> let's see 1 16th 1 8th is kind of um and it's focusing. There you go. So, 1 16th, 1 8th is kind of where you want to get it, and that's where I got it based on the instructions they give you. So, got that there. Um, got that all tightened up. So, it looks pretty nice. Like I said, there's like this gapping, and I think it's because... I think it's because uh, they might have added those brackets. I saw there was another youtuber who had um didn't have those brackets all it was was those grommets put everywhere so this is kind of a different install i don't know if they've upgraded or or maybe changed the way they they install this <clears throat> so anyways i able to pick up the table you know click it in it latches there pretty nicely you can click on that and it comes down so real nice i got a pop uh it was the poplar uh choice i would they they were telling me over the phone that the bamboo's nice but um i think they had a lot of issues with splitting and uh just trying to keep it in good shape um they they recommended getting the poplar um wood uh, just because it's it lasts longer and it's easier to take care of so i went out with this option it's real nice it's glossed it's got a nice stain on it um especially they got their they got their logo in here it's really nice um so very nice i mean so far so good so what i gotta do now is i'm routing the electrical so the line is coming down here and behind here and then what i did is i i punched a hole through here um i got <clears throat> this punch here and I punched a hole through there. And then I fished this line through here, out through the end here. So I'm right by here, which is good. And so I'll take this and I'll, I'll put it all down through here. Oops. And uh, try to get it to come back this way up to the 12 volt. So that's what we're gonna do next. Uh, I'm just kind of statusing as I go. Um, I'm a one-man crew, and it's kind of hard for me to hold the camera while I'm doing some of this stuff. So bear with me. Uh, we'll get through this. And uh, so far, so easy. I, have, I haven't, I've been kind of going back and forth with um, with my kids because my wife, uh, she's been going to the grocery store and then took my kid to, to Taekwondo. So, and I had to go pick up my kids from school. So it's kind of been a all-day event, but so far, I mean, the time I put in, just to do this, it's probably been less than an hour, so 
not bad and we'll get the wiring done so it'll probably take me a couple of minutes just to get it routed and then um, go ahead and splice into there and we'll, we'll see how we do that all right stay tuned all right guys so um spliced in there um, I use the t-tap um, splicers they're quick kind of spice splicers um, they're really easy to use <clears throat> Um, I didn't really I have I've been packing stuff all week, so I don't have my solder on me right now, but um, you pretty much stick the main cable through here the one you want to splice and then the back here you put um, You stick in the the new cable uh, wire sorry in there, and then you just crimp down on this and then you can close the you can after you crimp down here you can close that off and you know, it looks kind of like this here so did that um, pretty easily and um, you know black to black red to red got that in there as soon as I did that um, went over here turn the light on and it works so I got that going pretty nice huh it's kind of sensitive I barely tap it. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put this up here. Go ahead and tie that in. And uh, probably put a little electrical tape on there. And then I'll put the uh, panel back in here. Um, I did con disconnect the light here. So I'm just going to connect that back up. And then I'll put the connection here to the, the 12 volt. So... Anyways, let's see how it goes. Alright, so the trim panel's up. Not bad at all. Uh, I was able to put that back in, actually. Put this one in. Put that one back in there. So everything was pretty good. Just push it up back into place. Um, not bad. The wiring looks really nice. I can't even see it. It's taped up against there. It's electrical tape. Again, here's the, the wiring. is going back up in here. And it's going right up here. We get powered the light here, so. Oops. Yep, there it is, man. That's awesome. That thing's freaking sweet. And there's a table. Gosh dang. That's a nice uh, table. I really I like it. The quality of it's pretty nice. You know, I'm just wondering about this. You know, like the gap, the gapping around here. I wonder if they decided to you know allow that to happen i know there's some vents back here i don't know if it's to allow air to move through there I'm not too sure um same thing over here so my impressions were that it would sit flush but um and i even checked the the wire harness down here and nothing's nothing's binding between it. it's just set up it's flat against the brackets here and it's flat against the uh the bolt holes here so yeah, I guess it's just the way it's designed. I'll have to give them a call and I can update in the comments to see. Kind of let y'all let y'all know what what they said about it. But overall, it looks pretty nice. I like it. Okay, guys. So let's check it out. the The Jeep is back alive. I've already kind of tucked everything away. Um, so we go over here. Open up the tailgate. Oh my gosh! You can kind of see how how awesome that thing looks, man. And look how much space I'm saving inside the cab here. Well, I guess not that much, but I mean, at least I got somewhere I can put my medic kit. And you can even put your Jeep tool here. So I just said, oh yeah, that's a pretty nice place for it for right now. Um, but yeah, really cool. Let's check it out. The light the light on super bright and uh, table down there you go there you have it definitely recommend this um, there is one thing that uh, there's another thing that I, I caught um, so you know adding this you know I've got the tire carrier plus later on I'll probably get a, a little bit larger tire um, you know once I'm ready for that but uh, you know now my, now my tailgate's starting to 
you know, feel the, the brunt of it. So um, it is getting a little heavy. Um, although this is not that heavy, but um, you know, as I, when I was closing this, you know, you can definitely tell, and then you can kind of hear the latch kind of hitting, might be hitting the top part here. Um, and you can kind of maybe see just a little bit of markings, maybe. I mean, that could be from past, but um, anyways, if, if, if in the doubt, I have to adjust my tailgate a little bit and I might have to, you know, maybe wiggle this down a little bit. Um, so I think it is a little slotted. But, um, but overall, real nice. Everything closes, everything's good, everything's buttoned up. Um, let me focus there. Yeah. So, hit like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think of this video. This is like the third video I've done, and uh, I plan to do some more. The next things I'm, I'm planning to do is probably going to do the headlights. Um, I've got the Gravity, KC Gravity Pro um, 7 inch LED headlights there. So I'll do an install on that and uh, also still planning to do a walk around of, of my Jeep um, and kind of show you what other modifications I've done that I haven't really caught on camera. Um, um, so yeah. Um, stay tuned and, uh, you know, we'll hopefully have another video here pretty soon. Alright.